Today, my journey begins here at Legendingan Airport, where I'll be flying on board Cebu Pacific's ADR-72, this time around on their Cagayan to Cebu route. As I entered the terminal building, it was quite busy already. For check-in today, we'll be using Cebu Pacific self-check-in kiosk. I let my parents do the check-in process since it has been a while since they last traveled by air. After checking in ourselves for the flight, we proceeded to the security check. But hold up! Why are we not going up the stairs? Well, we'll have a quick snack here in Dunkin' Donuts. We finally proceeded to security check, which is on the second floor of the terminal building. Once we arrive at security check, the line was quite long, so we had to wait in line. Now, we are here at the departure area. While I have still two hours here inside the terminal building, I decided to do some exploring around the terminal. And a quick outfit reveal. Hello guys! After exploring most of the departure area and seeing the sunrise, I decided to do some plane spotting again. While observing the ground crew operations on the ground, I saw our aircraft has arrived. As we got called for boarding, we started to line up and my boarding pass gets scanned. Thank you. And we proceeded to the aircraft. After going down to the stairs to the tarmac, I started to take videos and pictures, of course, as a Navgi does. As I climbed the rear door of the aircraft, I saw familiar faces of Cebu Pacific's cabin crew members. Shortly after, flight attendant Clea asked me what my seat number was. Hi, what's your seat number? Uh, call this 4A. I am sitting at 4A. Last time on my Davao to Cagayan flight was 5A. While the final passengers are still boarding and cabin crew members are still preparing for departure, I prepare myself and shortly, Safety demo begins. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to your cabin crew who will demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. Each seat is provided with a seat belt. To fasten, push ends together. Tighten seat belt by pulling loose end. To unfasten, lift top of buckle and pull free end to release. While cabin crew members perform the safety demo, the aircraft engines began to start up. Shortly after, we began to taxi onto the runway. Cabin crew members take their seat and we hold short of the runway since there was a Civil Pacific A321 departing out of the airport. After a quick taxi, we started to roll down the runway bound for Cebu. to be back on the air traveling and after a few minutes we reach our cruising altitude and cabin crew members started their short meal service as we cruise over the clouds and I notice that there are even high level clouds along the way another short wave from me inside the cabin 
as you can see here's my window view and it's kind of bright shortly before we descend to Cebu I saw the sights of Tagbilaran City and in the distance I see Bohol Panglao International Airport as we started our descent toward the Queen City of the South I saw a boat who's probably heading for Cebu as we approach I saw the new Cebu Cordova bridge in the distance and finally back here after at least eight to nine years and it's good to be back here at Cebu Go team had a bear flight there through Captain Sandor and First Officer Essa together with your cabin crew. We thank you for making Sabgo a part of your important moments. It is truly a pleasure having you all on board and we do hope to fly you to more fun in the future. Once again, thank you everyone for flying Sabgo. While taxiing to our sign gate, I can't stop looking at the site of Terminal 2, which I hope someday I might pass through it. Waiting for the seatbelt sign to be turned off, I see some passengers are eager to get off as soon as possible. And beside us is an ADR-72 bound for Cagayandi Oro or Nagindigan Airport. As the seatbelt sign was turned off and some passengers started to take out their bags, I was allowed to enter the cockpit to take pictures with the pilots. Once I have entered the cockpit, I was surprised to see that both pilots are from overseas. Also, I took pictures with the crab and crew. Here are the pictures. After saying goodbye to the cabin crew, I rushed to get off the aircraft since everyone was waiting for me to get on the bus. The bus ride to the terminal was short and I was able to see sights of aircraft parked along the gates. Once we got off the bus, we are now here at the arrival hall of Terminal 1 and it was already quite busy as usual. As we exit our way out of the terminal, it felt like I'm in a shopping mall, but inside of an airport terminal. This is all for today guys, and I'll see you on the next vlog, which is our return flight back to Lagintingan Airport. Consider yourself subscribing to stay tuned for the next vlog. Goodbye!